What do you gotta say, huh? What do you gotta say? Oh, thanks for the little head bump. I appreciate Hey, bad. Oh, okay. Buddy, please don't do that. Don't do that to me. All I wanted you to do was introduce the video. I was gonna try to give you a little head bump. Okay, you're swallowing my finger and I can feel your tooth. Please stop. Don't buy hermit crabs. Hermit crabs are bad to own. Thank you for watching, that's the video. I like to make my videos fun and that's why I'm worried about this one. I always get nervous making these kind of videos because they aren't fun. They're more of sit down and listen, okay? Like that, it's, it just, it never comes across well. But I'm gonna do it again. Hello, so first off, I don't even know where to start. Thank you for the 700,000 subscribers. Last time I filmed, I filmed two videos in one day, and on that day I was thanking everyone for 600,000. And now, the next time I upload, I'm already to 700,000. Which is just insane. I really just, I never, ever, ever imagined my channel being this big, and the fact that it's just continuously growing, it means the world to me, and it's amazing. And I love you guys so much, and I can't thank you guys enough. Secondly, I have officially started up my vlog channel. I promise that this intro won't be too long, okay? I promise. I started up a vlog channel, or just a second channel in general. It's not gonna just be vlogs. It's just gonna be extra, extra, extra bonus content that is not going on this channel. And I uploaded my first video and you should go check it out because I get my ears pierced. I get some new piercings again, all thanks to Chris Saint. He gave me my tragus last time and now he gave me my double forward helix. Also, if you don't want to watch piercings, there's other stuff in that video too. Cheese is in that video if it helps anyone. I have to bribe people to go watch my videos. Last announcement, my merch is back on sale. Um, thanks to all of you guys for supporting it. And there was such a high demand to put it back on sale, so I put it back on sale. Link is in my description. It was selling like a god church so I put it back on sale so this video as you can tell from the title is actually about hermit crabs which is an animal I don't own I know people come to look at animals on my channel and this one is gonna be animal -less. <coughs> my bad I've, I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time because one of the first videos I ever put out on my channel was like my very original room tour back when I had just, you know, a few animals. One of the animals I had was hermit crabs. We can roll that tape. Roll it. Don't know who I'm talking to. I'm alone in a room talking to a camera, but roll that tape. Animal number one. Hedgehog. I love them both so very much. Them. My biggest hermit crab, Godzilla. Um, he's about the size of the palm of my hand, a little bigger. So there's this hermit crab. I have four of them. Yeah, so first of all, my hermit crabs weren't in the proper conditions that they were supposed to be in. That's a whole other thing I'm going to get into in a minute. But second of all, I decided I hated owning hermit crabs and that I didn't want to do it anymore. So I found a wonderful home for them and from as far as I know they're still alive to this day. I just, I couldn't take care of them anymore because I just, I didn't feel comfortable based on what I had learned about hermit crabs. So I'm just gonna get into it in this video about why I personally don't own hermit crabs and why I don't recommend them for someone looking for a pet. Why they are awful pets for children. Like, I know a lot of parents just go out and buy their kids hermit crabs because they think, oh, good first pet. No. If you do own one, if you are a kid watching this, because I know a lot of kids comment telling me, oh, I got a hermit crab. Obviously, I'm not telling you to give it away. I'm not telling you you're bad for owning them. I had them too. Just try your best to give them the best possible care, and I hope this video kind of helps you open your eyes and helps you take care of them better. So here are 10 reasons why I think hermit crabs suck as pets. Just a warning, uh, a animal cruelty warning, I guess. If you don't like hearing things that are bad about animals, like abuse that they go through, this video has a little bit of it. Um, just wanted to warn you. Number one, which is the main issue for me, is the fact that they are not bred in captivity. It is somehow, some way possible for them to breed in captivity, but it is so rare that absolutely none of the hermit crabs you are buying comes from this possibility of them breeding in captivity. All the hermit crabs you buy, no matter where you're getting them from, I don't care where you bought them, they were taken from the wild. Don't just get up and go release them if you don't want them as a pet anymore, okay? They come from the Caribbean and they come from Ecuador. They don't come from your local Texas beach or wherever you are. I am not not a huge fan of PETA. I will say that openly, okay? I'm not a PETA person. There is a video by PETA that does show where these hermit crabs come from and the process of getting them from the wild to the pet store and it's incredibly disturbing. The most disturbing part in my opinion is getting them from their ugly, ugly natural wild shell to their appealing 
painted shell for the kit. You see hardware crafts in stores all the time and painted shells. They have designs on them. Sometimes they look like characters you may recognize. They did not pick them up in the wild from that and the hermit crabs did not decide, oh, instead of this natural rock I'm living in, I'd rather live in some painted plastic. They are forced out of their natural shells. There's a system that's basically like a nutcracker that cracks the shell right off of them. And then they are tossed into a container of freshly painted shells where they must choose one or else they just go naked. So why is it so bad for them to live in painted shells? Well, first of all, painted shells are incredibly irritating. They chip and flake, and it really, really irritates the hermit crab's body. But second off, most of the times when they are first initially put into the shell to be able to be sold on the road, they are either thrown into buckets, like I said, of freshly painted shells, or they are literally glued into them. A lot of people will say my hermit crab with the painted shell never changed its shell and it died really quick, but I did everything right. There's a very good chance that the shell was painted while it was still on them and that when the paint dried, it stuck to the actual hermit crab and they were not able to get back out. And then they died slowly from stress. Now, a lot of people also think that hermit crabs can just live in a little tiny container with sand and that's all they need. Hermit crabs do need a heat source and a lot of people don't know that nor do they provide it. I recommend a under the tank heater and even a basking spot wouldn't hurt them. One side of the tank needs to be at least 80 degrees and then the other side can be their cool side which can be you know like 76 or 75 degrees. It is very important that they at least have half of their tank be 80 degrees. Another reason they don't make good pets for kids is because of the humidity that is important in a hermit crab's life. Their cage needs to either have some kind of humidifier or it needs to be misted down multiple times a day which your child may not want to do. Their cage really does need to reach about 70 to 80 percent humidity twice a day. Fourth reason is you can't just throw some tap water from your sink into their cage and just think that's all they need. They need two deep dishes that they're able to get in and out of easily one that has salt water and one that has fresh water but the fresh water needs to be purified. They can't have tap water. The impurities from tap water get lodged into their digestive tract and build up. Basically their body gets filled up with chunky rocks and then they die. Sixth reason is because you can't just throw in like calcium sand in their tank and that they're good. They need at least six inches of an eco-earth mix. You can use play sand that you can get at like the local Home Depot or something. Play sand mixed with Eco Earth is a very good combination. Eco Earth is the go to thing for hermit crabs, really. They do like dirt, they don't need that fake calcium sand. It's really actually not good for them. Seventh thing that people don't know. They are social animals. So you can't just get your little container and throw a hermit crab in there and just think it's going to do great. You will literally have a depressed hermit crab. Hermit crabs literally will not get up to seek food or water when they don't have another playmate. So you'll have a hermit crab just live on its own, not eat enough, not drink enough, die. This seventh one is super important to me that no one um, ever tells people at pet stores, no one ever tells people this when they buy a hermit crab. Hermit crabs molt. Basically, they shed their exoskeleton. Basically, what they do is they bury themselves down in the sand. You don't want to take them back out. You don't want to mess with them. You leave them alone. They molt and their exoskeleton literally comes off of their body and hangs out of their shell. A lot of people sadly think this means that their hermit crab is dead and they pick it up and they throw it in the trash. No, it's not. It's not dead. A good way to tell between a molted hermit crab and a dead hermit crab is waiting for the molt to fall out of the shell or helping move it out, but you have to be very careful with that. And then you check in the shell, look really far in the back for a little pink naked hermit crab. If the entire body comes out when you remove the fallen molt, then it's dead. If it's just the front half of its body, it's just a molt and your hermit crab's still alive. Please don't throw it in the trash. It doesn't want to go and live off in the sewer and become a giant mutant crab. A varied diet is super important in hermit crabs. This is actually one reason that hermit crabs may end up fighting each other and killing each other and of course the hermit crabs may just die on their own without a varied diet. But without the proper diet they really will seek out other hermit crabs and cannibalize them and eat them. Hermit crabs are scavengers so like I said when the time comes if they can't find what they need they will eat another hermit crab if they have to. Fresh or dried fruits and veggies. Mine loved bananas and coconut. You can give them dandelions, you can give them sunflower seeds. They need shrimp, they need fish, some kind of protein, meaty product. They like eggs even, freeze-dried crickets, 
mealworms. It's also good to give them some cuddle bone for calcium. They like to pick at it. It helps them. It's very important that they have all these items so they will molt properly and so they won't cannibalize and eat each other. Another common misconception goes back on arguing the fact that they're not social creatures and that they in fact don't like to be together. Like, oh my hermit crab fights every other hermit crab that I put in the cage. Hermit crabs basically see with their little feelers, their antennae. Yes, they can see, but this is their main source of getting to know their area. So they will get all over each other, hermit crabs, to like figure out who they are. It's perfectly normal for them to crawl under and on top of each other. The fighting really begins, in my opinion, when you put them in too small of an enclosure or when you don't feed them enough. Their enclosures should be big. 20 gallons for two, 40 gallons for four. They actually need a lot of space. They get really big and if they don't, they fight. Hermit crabs do need um, three shells per hermit crab so they can pick what shell they want if they ever want to change the shell. They all need to be natural shells, not painted. As far as I've heard, uh, Petco is getting rid of all wild caught animals by next year or by 2019 is what I remember. So no more hermit crabs will be uh, sold at Petco, which is awesome. But as far as I know, PetSmart isn't going to be stopping that anytime soon. But I just hope this opened your eyes and helped you become more aware of not to just buy animals just because they seem simple because no animal is simple. There's always some kind of work that goes behind them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my merch in my bio and subscribe and leave a comment and leave a thumbs up if you want to. If you want to leave a thumbs down, I guess that's cool too. Whatever, you're still watching my videos, so thank you. Thank you guys so much for the 700,000. I love you all and I will see you in a few days again with a new video. So, or you'll see me. Goodbye. Okay, now that I'm done filming, I can turn all of my tank back on. So it'll be loud in here again. Erwin, you want to say bye? You want to end the video? Say bye, Erwin. What about you, Cheese? You're covered in bubbles. Cheese is getting covered in bubbles as the fish tank turns back on. Bubbles is a really hard word to say seriously. Like, whenever I say bubbles, I just sound so stupid. Bubbles. I'm getting a new camera, so hopefully uh, this focus issue will never happen again because it comes tomorrow. Yay, bye.